In this episode of The Breakdown, I'm gonna show you how I use this door behind me to take some really, really awesome portraits here in the studio. Adorama TV presents The Breakdown with Miguel Quiles. Welcome back to The Breakdown. My name is Miguel Quiles, and today I am joined here in the studio by Mr. Moshe Zeusman. Yeah, so we're here in Washington, D.C. We're here in his studio. It is an absolutely, ridiculously amazing space. Um, there's plenty of amazing corners and, and places and interesting things to shoot at in this location, but one particular location that I think probably would be a little easier because you've got an awesome studio. I don't know that this is something that's available to everybody, but I think finding a door like this I've should be... Shot you've never shot against this door. So that was the first thing. I came into this location. I said, I want to try something a little bit different. And I saw this door and it's just an amazing large light source. It's a, I don't know what, eight, nine foot door, all glass. It's a door. It's a door, you know, but amazing, beautiful light that's coming in through this door. And so you've seen in some of my episodes in an early episode of The Breakdown, I believe it was the beauty portraits episode. I had a large soft box that was behind me. And what that was trying to emulate is this type of a setup where you have all of this beautiful natural light streaming in from behind you. It's gonna put flat lighting on your subject and you'll be able to photograph them and just make them look amazing. It's gonna look a little, little different than that first image. So rather than talk about it, let's actually break this down and I'll tell you how it all works. All right, so let me go ahead and break down the setup here really quickly for you. Um, as you will often see on my videos, I'm using my trusty dusty portrait setup, which is the A7R2 from Sony with the Zeiss 85mm 1.8 Vatis lens. And I also have a grip, which is going to come in handy today because I'm going to be shooting these in a portrait orientation, so I'm going to be able to just one hand hold these particular shots. Um, I want to try to shoot these shots wide open in an f1.8. So when you do that, my best recommendation for you is to set your aperture at f1.8, put your ISO at ISO 400, and then you're going to adjust your shutter speed up or down in order to expose your image correctly. Now he's not going to be moving, so technically I can go down to 1 60th of a second if I needed to, to expose the image properly. Now we have a uh, tri-reflector from Photix, and we're using the silver side, which is basically, if you look at the camera real quick, so they can see what's happening, look straight to the camera. And so you can see that just by having the reflector, it just kind of adds a little bit of a catch light to his eyes and adds a little bit of light into the shadows uh, under his chin. So you're gonna be holding that. We have a collapsible backdrop as well, as you've seen in many of my episodes. I love using these because you can take them with you anywhere. You can use them outdoors and create a studio. Here we are at the doorway of a proper studio and we're still have this whole portrait set up here. Um, this particular one is made by Savage. It's a fantastic backdrop. And so here's what we're gonna do. I wanna have you about maybe a foot to two feet away from the backdrop. So about right there is perfect. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you come a little closer to me. Perfect, excellent. And then, yeah, that looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stand with my back to the door and we're gonna go ahead and take this particular portrait and see how it comes out. And actually, let's talk about the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a try. Uh, I'm gonna shoot F1.8 ISO 400, uh, shutter speed of 1 250th of a second. We're gonna test this thing out and see how, it, see how it looks. So I want you to look straight on to the camera, just like that. That's perfect. Nice and intense. Very nice. All right, so looking at this first shot, this is at 1 250th of a second, and looking at the histogram, nothing is clipping. The exposure actually looks really, really good. Um, zooming into the eyes as well, one of the key things when you're shooting wide open in an f1.8 is to look at the eyes and make sure that the eyes are in focus. If they're soft, if they're, if they're not sharp and in focus, you wanna keep shooting and get some more shots. So our first shot actually came out perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and since we have our settings dialed in, we're just gonna keep shooting, get some different expressions and see what we come up with. All right, so here we go. Settings look awesome. Turn the chin towards me, tilt the head straight up, and bring the chin out just like that. Perfect. There we go. And then a nice smile, because you have an awesome studio. There we go. There we go, perfect. 
and get this shot, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Excellent. Here we go, hold that. Very good. One more. Good smile. There we go. Give a real smile. There it is. All right, so there you have it. A really simple way for you to use a doorway in order to take some really interesting, really awesome portraits. Hope you guys learned something new today. Be sure to check out the Adorama Learning Center where they have amazing videos and amazing content where you can learn more and more about whatever type of photography it is that you're into. Also, be sure to check out this guy's social media channel. Since he was such a gracious model and allowed me to come into the studio, Moshe, how can uh, these guys check out your work? Um, Instagram, Facebook, but mainly Instagram and uh, my website. Excellent. We'll make sure we put that in the link section below. And thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode of The Breakdown. Bye, everybody.